Hello again. Welcome back to the Moobuff Reactions channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the new, as it's called, official trailer for Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon, a uh, true crime historical drama of sorts about an uh, investigation by the FBI into murders of, I believe it's the members of the Osagi tribe who had gotten rights to oil that had been discovered on their land. And I remember with the first trailer that I reacted to, just how visually beautiful it looked. It reminded me, in a way, of the films of Terrence Malick. It's also notable for being the first Scorsese film to have his two main Italian boys, Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro. The first trailer had a strong mystery vibe to it. So, it's hard to know how much of a mystery it'll be, because once you've done a little reading up on the true story, you know how it ends, but... Yeah, good. Like Apollo 13, even though if you know how it ends, if it's executed well, it can still be an enjoyable, thrilling ride, so... Without further rambling, let's watch and see if they give a few more clips on the performances of the actors, but without giving too much away. You know, you got you got a nice color skin. What color would you say that is? <laughs> My color. Definitely old times. Oh, say. They have the worst land possible. Oh, say. But they outsmarted everybody. The land had oil on it. Black gold. Money flows freely here now. I do love that money, sir. <laughs> Got a little Max Katie there. This wealth should come to us. The time is over. This is going to be another tragedy. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. They're like buzzards circling our people. We're still warriors. I ought to kill these white men who killed my family. I need you here. Take back control of your home. I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See what about them? I'm clear who the true main character's gonna so be. Doing it. Good tempo, good music, really gets uh, the blood pumping, and I know I probably wasn't as reactive as you probably would expect, but I was really trying to take it all in. Definitely showed a bit more, but again, did a good job of not giving away everything that's going to happen. Definitely showed that there's going to be a lot of uh, violence, as, as is normal with a lot of Scorsese films, particularly his historical movies. And uh, looks like there's a lot of strong themes here. Um, greed, hate, racism, interracial romance, and impending doom, and... Uh, People go into war in a sense, and Robert De Niro looks like he's going to go full villain here, and I look forward to that. When he can play a villain well, and he knocks it out of the fucking park, and the one I'm really interested to see here is the one who is the uh, least well-known, Lily Gladstone, I believe is her name. 
She looks like she's going to have an intense performance to give. And Jesse Plemons, not a lot of him. And according to what I read, his character, in a way, almost sounds like he should be the main character. The guy who's coming in to investigate. But curious to see how it goes. And, um... Bren Frazier, not a lot of him, but sounds like he's going to be mostly a supporting character, and I'm really looking forward to that. Bren Frazier, he's had such an amazing comeback lately, and Leonardo DiCaprio, he is one of my top favorite actors currently working today. Um, him and Mel Gibson, they are two just extremely talented men who... Even if the script they're given is not great, they are talented enough that they can pull it off and make it uh, almost sound good, if it's bad. But DiCaprio, he's very good in choosing good projects, whether it be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or, again, the previous Scorsese films he's been in. A lot of great visuals here. I don't want to repeat everything I said in the first trailer reaction, but the shot of uh, people getting covered in oil, thought that was... Uh, that, that's a spectacle. That's a great visual, and if done right, it could go up there with all the other iconic Scorsese images. Like, I know he's always the most proud of the Raging Bull intro, and you want to say, or then it looks very good. I hope, I know it's gonna, the release is gonna be a little funky. They're starting out in selective theaters from what I read, and then they're gonna go few weeks later, a more wide uh, release. I really hope it comes here to my town, along with Oppenheimer. It's an it's a old uh, historical set movie that I'm really interested in seeing. And with that all said, uh, and all the rambling out of the way, I will see you again soon. And uh, if you want to see more of my content, check out the other videos on the channel.